Welcome back. It is another storage auction day, and this unit behind me I purchased for $10. Will it be a bad buy? I don't know. You'll see once I open the door. Welcome to my $10 unit. <laughs> Uh, well, I got myself a new couch, it looks like. I mean, for $10, we're gonna show you what $10 can buy. Now, we do have some totes, which that's why some people buy units, just strictly for totes. There are some totes, some boxes. I see a little compartment thing back there. I got a, myself a horse. Mr. Ed, is that you? And there are some totes up here, so we'll have to take a look and see what's inside, but this is what $10 will buy you in my area. So, good buy, bad buy, we're going to find out. Borrowing Taco Stack's gloves because we have to borrow his van <laughs> to put all this in here. Uh, maybe he'll want the new couch, who knows. All right, let's start off with uh, the boxes. Oh, that Haslick might have stuff inside of it. I see a, a thing to flip it up, that'd be cool. Alrighty, got some blankets and linens, a NASCAR DuPont little race car, Planet Fitness bottle, what's this? We got a book, what are we reading about? The Last Promise. Tape, empty, bottle. Alright, let's see. Ooh, Monopoly now, here and now. With America's favorite cities. So you have um, Seattle, there's New York, San Francisco. Monopoly is a fun game, it just takes a while to play. What's it here? Halloween decor. Ghostly greetings. Um, lots of pens. Dart set. Yeah, a whole bunch of pens. Are these Sharpies? Ooh, they're gel tip highlighters. I can use these. And there's a whole nother box in there that hasn't been opened. And then um, permanent markers. Those are good for the flea market too. Looks like we might have a tote of all electronics. Direct TV. Direct TV. Are you supposed to return these? <laughs> I guess they're not. Um... Oh, we have some Burnout baby blanket yarn. Is that a cat? I think this is sugar. At least I hope it is. Oh, it's a dog. It looks like a cocker spaniel. Aw, that's a cute guy. That will go to the flea market too. We gotta remove this Mr. Horsey Rocker guy. Get out of my way, sir. I do have a wallet. Maybe there's some gift cards. You can always use some gift rewards. Yeah, that's a rewards card, not a gift card. Bye bye baby. Um, yeah, I don't see any gift cards. Oh, oh darn it. There's Boscov's, but it's empty. Oh, big lots? No, it's all rewards cards. I have found a few gift cards in some units. Got ourselves some kids' toys. There is a, what is this, a mat? Oh, it's like a homemade uh, photo album for a baby. Crafter, it's a crafter. Uh, let's see what's in this Nike box. Crayons, cords. <laughs> 
to uh, the scrapyard you go. There's the furniture. Oh, there's a sign back there. I didn't see that. Let's see what the sign is for. Dream. And it lights up somewhat. Dream of a good storage unit. And we have a chair. Now we'll go to the scrapyard. Now, this uh, hassock thing opens, I think. So, it does. And what do we got? We have a calculator, a kid's jacket, Nike. Oh, it's a little kid snowsuit. That's so cute. Um, hairspray, and a menu. What's this? Gorilla glue. Oh gosh. Indoor cannabis flower. Okay. Unless the person is a qualified patient. And a body massager. An outdoor products bag. This one has something in it. Do I dare? Do I dare? The baggy. A baggy with a bunch of small baggies in there. I'm guessing, oops, shaving necessities. There's a compass. Maybe this is what they used when they when they uh, were out hiking. Soap. Uh, oh, we have a Victor Knox Swiss Army knife. That's a that's a good one. Conan clippers, some more, another little Swiss army knife, beef green camo makeup for hunting. Have I made my $10 back yet? <laughs> uh, we shall see. I will have to take the like couch and some of the other furniture to the dump because it's, it's just the, the table and stuff, it's very, they're broken pieces it's not in the best of shape so i don't really want to sell it because it's just not really sellable oh hold on hold, change your tune as the auctioneers like to say uh, there's a watch and there's this necklace is it gold is it real gotta take the glasses off for this one Let me get this out. I don't know. It looks a little bit maybe too tarnished for it to be gold. I'll have to check. But we do have a necklace. If, if this is even like 10K, that'll be good. Maybe I'll have Taco Sacks take a peek at it. Let's look at this watch. We'll have to look at that. Uh, oh, there's a ring box in here too. See, I don't want to get excited, but there is a ring. It's marked 925. You know, obviously gold would be better, but we'll take what we can get. And this is a Timex watch. I'll have to look that up. Stainless steel. Sunday, it has Sunday the 13th. So yeah, I mean, that's 
why you never know with a unit. And I guess taking a little gamble on a $10 unit, it, what if there would have been a whole box of jewelry in here? Then you've made your money. We have, what is this? Oh, it's a Fuji film, Fuji camera. So I will have to take a better look at the necklace and see what that could be. Let's hope it's gold. <laughs> Scale. Shocker. Oh, there's a is this a hidden a hidden compartment? Or is it broken? Cigar tray. We have Pokemon. <laughs> uh, poor Pikachu bank. I'm guessing something with smoke was in there. A receipt for edibles. Uh, so, and Taco Sacks looked at that necklace and he's like, no, not gold. It's a long table. Scrap. Oh, there's a crate. Oh, looks like there's a crate of books back there. Like we have a little apothecary in here. Oh, we got our loofah. Our scar sheets. Our apps. Laxatives. Soap. Soap is still in the box, so that can go to the flea market. Oh boy. This is our baby section. Zyrtex. Oh my gosh. These like nasal suckers were the worst <laughs> when you were little. I hated that. Oragel. Tylenol. Cold and flu. Vaseline. When do these expire? Some prenatal gummies. And the last jar. And some pens. And a Minnie Mouse bottle. We have a little tote of books. Disney Princess. Shrek 2, look and find. Apparently they're gonna make another Shrek. I think that's gonna be like the fifth Shrek. Pirates of the Caribbean. I had a lot of look and find. Um, Hooper Humperdinck. Not him. Dr. Seuss books. These are nice books. Elmo look and find. Oh, wow. This is all Dr. Seuss books. First edition, but let's see. This is 1973. Really? These look in really good shape. Which they look really good for that. Usually I, I'm used to them being a bit different. Yeah, 19, this one's 1968. I may have to look these up. So we have a whole crate of Dr. Seuss books. Um, the older ones. The belly book. I've never heard of that. This one's 2008, so there's a mixture. But I will have to look up. I know some of the Dr. Seuss books you cannot sell on eBay anymore. So we'll have to... I don't know if those are in here. I forget which one it is. But we'll look them up. And um, the rest will go to the flea market. 
what I've been waiting for. It was rather light, so I'm not counting on anything crazy. Let's see. I'm going to say shoes or maybe household products. Oh, well, we have a whole kit of tie-dye. Oh, what the stuff. There's still, like, remnants in there that fell on me. That's all right. We have baby's first Christmas ornaments that were not used. Sheet set. And it looks like there's paperwork. We have, oh, these are cute. Um, kids clothing, still with the tags. Those are from Walmart. Those will go to the flea market. Yeah, never opened. Definite flea market items. People like to buy those there. Has like a weird smell inside. It looks like there's a bunch of cards. Of course, you have to look just to make sure there's a gift card or a few dollar bills left in there. But it doesn't look like it. And then we have. There's a TV, some pillows, and then some uh, metal, oh, there's a little metal table, which we actually found the glass for. So, $10, I mean, honestly, it is easy to clean. It's just moving the couch out and the larger items. Um, if this would have had more totes in it and boxes, then I think it would have sold for for more money. People love buying units that have totes in it. I mean, I love buying units that have totes in them, but sometimes it just doesn't work that way. This tote could have had a jewelry box. It could have had money. It could have had a safe, but it did not. But $10 is not that much to risk on perhaps finding something potentially worth, you know, 10, 20, a hundred times your money. You just never know. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Another unit in the storage unit adventures. Too bad the necklace wasn't real gold, <laughs> but we did get ourselves a good uh, knife. And then I will have to check out those Dr. Seuss books. I will definitely make my money back, plus a little profit, so not a loss. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more storage unit adventures. And if you're going out to buy your own storage unit, maybe take a chance on a $10 unit. You never know what you might find. Mm -hmm.